Hey everyone, I want to share with you a very simple AI application that can be very useful. It's called MLX Video Transcription. First, I will be using and installing this with Pinocchio. So if you do not already have Pinocchio, please check out the video on the screen. The link is in the description below. Second, bad news. But quite surprising, this is for Mac only. Not something that usually happens. Usually it's the other way around. So. Sorry, Windows and Linux users. So what does MLX video transcription do? It does exactly what the title says. It uses the MLX framework to take any video and transcribe the audio into text. But what's really nice is that it will automatically create subtitles of the video. And it does it rather quickly. Let's take a look. Here in Pinocchio, go to the Discover page. Either click the giant button in the middle if you don't have any apps installed yet, or click the Discover icon in the top right. At this point, you could do a search for MLX video transcription specifically, but it's currently the second app, so it's pretty easy to find. Click on that. Feel free to peruse the page about the app, including the X posts, and click the download button when you're ready. As soon as you do, it will open up a new Pinocchio window. No, I'm not really sure why it does this. I'm also not really sure what the point of the Save As window is for, why you would change the name or anything, I, I don't know. Just hit download. This will literally just download the git file, and it's super quick. This isn't the installation. But a few seconds later, this is where you actually start the install. Surprisingly, hit install to start the installation. This took roughly a minute and 20 seconds. Well, it failed, but that's how long it took. I also can't say what went wrong, but it looks like something didn't get installed during the process. So let's stop the AI that's not running from running by hitting stop in the terminal section. I tried updating and that did nothing. I tried opening up in a normal browser and still the same problem. Something just didn't install correctly. All I could think to do was reset and try the install again. I don't have the big install button in the center this time. So click on the install icon on the left. That doesn't actually start it, so then at the top of the terminal window hit the start button, and that will again start the installation process. Fingers crossed. This time took nearly 4 minutes and seems to have gone through successfully. So I'm going to hit the start button on the side and then hit the start button that appears above. And a few seconds later, if it worked, it should automatically load the UI. Thankfully, it worked this time. Just the ghost in the machine that happens from time to time, I guess. Though the UI does take a little bit of time to load, which seems odd. It couldn't be much simpler of a UI. It's mostly all just information. Otherwise, you have the section to either drag and drop your video, or you can click the button to find your file. Below that is the drop-down titled Select Whisper Model, where you can choose a different model to do the actual task of transcribing. I'm going to stick with the default, but you can see the other options here and try another out if the default doesn't work for you. The only other option is to pick the language being spoken in the video, or you can just let it detect automatically. I'm going to choose English because of the weird reason that I speak English. This is still new to me, so I'm going to start out with testing one of my shorter videos. I believe it's just around two minutes long. I'll just drag and drop the file onto here. It looks like that brings up two new options. It shows the file that you've uploaded, and you can apparently cancel that one. And then there is a transcribe button now at the bottom too. I tried dragging and dropping multiple files at the same time so that you could have it transcribe multiple files one after the other. The weird thing is that it lets you drop more than one, and it shows them, but it also tells you that only one file is allowed. Seems it would be easier to just not allow you to drop more than one. I guess I'll get rid of the one. Time to hit transcribe and make the magic happen. And after a bit of time and not seeing progress, I realized I should probably check the terminal for the actual progress. And one other thing I suspected might be an issue, it still hasn't started the actual transcribing. It's actually downloading one of the models that seems to be over a gigabyte. So yeah, that's going to add some time. After it does a few other things, it looks like it's finally doing the actual transcribing as it's showing in the terminal. After some time of processing, it looked like it has finally finished with the transcription, but for some reason it just continued processing. 
Eventually it did stop, but it looks like it added a ton of repeating lines to the end of it. Not really sure what happened there. Either way, I'm going to click the download transcripts and save those to my computer. This downloads a zip file to a location of your choosing. Open that up, and inside is a folder with three different files. You get an SRT subtitle file, which is kind of the standard subtitle file in my opinion. You also get a basic text file that is, well, basic. No actual formatting to the transcript. And then you get another subtitle format, VTT. I'm not really familiar with this type, but it's almost the exact same as an SRT, except that it's in an XML format instead of text. Notice that all three of these did have the weird repeating text in them. Really no clue what's going on there. Not deterred, I figured I'd throw something much more difficult at it. I went with my video about lip syncing. And what should be much more difficult about this one is that not only is it my voice in it, but it's multiple other voices used at random times for the lip syncing, including a whole song that is an AI creation using Udio. So it has to pick up the singing in it with the music playing. I'm going to skip through the processing super quick here, but at a quick glance, it looks like it did pretty well. With the files downloaded, I'm going to open up the original video in VLC and then add the subtitles to it and see how well they match up. Hey everyone, time for another Face Fusion Basics video. By now you should probably already have guessed that I will be focusing on the lip sync feature. Starting from the beginning, the lip sync at the beginning seems to be working great and then going right into myself talking. Skipping ahead a bit to where there is another lip sync with different voices. There's something that I have to say to you. What the hell is even that? That also seems to be pretty much right on. Now for the singing. Seems to be pretty good. There's a little bit of overlapping of the subtitles, but I'd much rather the overlap instead of them being up for too short of a time where they can't even be read quickly enough. And now for the ending lip sync. As always, I'd appreciate if you would like and subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Yeah, I'd say this one was a success. Even though it was a much more difficult video to process, MLX video transcription did great. That's pretty much it for the app. Once you're done using it, go ahead and hit the stop button next to the terminal. That will close the app inside of Pinocchio. You can feel free to either quit Pinocchio now, or you can hit the home button in the bottom left, and that will bring you to the apps that you have installed. One of them now being MLX Video Transcription. It's nice to see that this works pretty simply. Now maybe I can add subtitles to my videos. I'm not sure if it's something that is needed, but maybe for clarity on some of the weird words that I have to say sometimes. Or maybe I'm slurring my words from all the peppermint schnapps. Also, I could very easily take the subtitles and translate them into almost any language and add those to my videos. What do you think of MLX video transcription? Any good use cases that I haven't thought of that you'd like to share? If so, leave a comment below. If not, leave a comment about how amazing you thought this video was. You can also like and subscribe, and even share this video everywhere you can think of. As always, thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.